I want higher quality video. Oh no, now I'm running out of storage. A topic which has been getting a little bit more attention recently. We've been talking about new smartphones and the new features which are going to drive consumer sales, things we're really excited about. And 4K video is one of those topics that gets a little controversial in our comments. Well, a few phone manufacturers are trying to improve that consumer experience when they pick up their phone and they try and engage with something like 4K video. Of course, that's causing more teething pains as we're looking at another format shift. First of all, we should probably talk about video compression, specifically H.265, or as it's also known, HEVC. HEVC stands for High Efficiency Video Coding, and it's a feature that you can find on Huawei phones, and it's also a toggle that you can activate on the Axon 7. As you'd probably be able to figure out, H.265 is the evolution of the video codec that many of our phones used, known as H.264. It's one H better. But really, what this does is it allows us to capture a higher quality video and squeeze it down into a smaller file size. To grossly oversimplify, H.265 does a better job scanning video from frame to frame using smaller regions to look for changes in between each frame of video. If something is staying put and isn't changing from frame to frame, the video codec assumes that you don't necessarily need the highest possible quality for that piece of the frame. Shooting 4K video on the P10 or the Mate 9 or the Axon 7, you arrive at file sizes that are just a little bit bigger than half of what you would get if you shot 4K video on an iPhone. And it delivers reasonably similar video quality. We're talking about all the color and the detail and the contrast and the whatnot. But whenever we have a format shift, we will run into problems, and H.265 video files are a little bit more difficult to work with. We've seen a bunch of people online complaining about how they can't edit them into projects or they can't upload them directly to YouTube. Oh, there's nothing I can do with these videos. But that's not true. These video files are a little trickier to work with, but they're not impossible to upload to your favorite video streaming services. While we're waiting for cloud storage companies and for YouTube to figure out what their next generation video codec standard is going to be, it just means we're going to have to take that extra step into converting them into H.264 so those outlets and those resources can utilize the video from our phones. Directly from an Android phone, you can use an app like Cyberlink's Power Director to just slap the video file in there, save it again as a 4K video file, and upload that directly to YouTube or save it on OneDrive or Google Drive. There will be a little video degradation, but this is still going to be a very high quality, high bitrate 4K video file. If you can take the extra time, you can transfer this video file to a Mac or a PC and run it through a program like Handbrake and deliver a lossless version of this video file which will be very easy to edit or again to upload directly to your favorite streaming services. It's been a little disappointing watching the commentary on this as if this is some kind of new thing that we've never experienced before. Video files that are more difficult to work with. Back then we were talking about H.264 being this crazy resource hog and now we have phones that shoot even higher compression video. HEVC is currently locked in a battle with VP9 that's a standard that Google is going to try and utilize on YouTube. And right now we're looking at licensing issues for HEVC on a number of different platforms. Unfortunately, it's more expensive to license this video codec, which means a number of our favorite solutions for sharing this video are probably going to slow play this for a while longer yet. But I wouldn't be afraid to jump in now. It's actually not that difficult to get this video out and about and sharing it with your family and friends. I know. One extra step is totally a bummer when you just want to push send, but to put our money where our mouth is, this entire video was shot, edited, rendered, and uploaded from a Huawei Mate 9. That's why the audio for this video isn't quite up to the same standard as what I would normally produce for one of these talking vloggy videos. We're using the mics built into the Mate 9, but the entire process was eminently easy to produce getting this thing cut and finished and uploaded. I hope this brief overview has at least started the conversation off on what's going on with 4K video, HEVC, H.264, all of these tech buzz terms that have been floating around recently. I know someone down in the comments will expand on this topic further, and if there's enough interest, maybe we'll also follow this video up with some additional content on content creation. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more informational, vloggy, rambling videos like these, and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.